Hey guys, welcome to another lunch review. Today I'm going to try this Chung's Gourmet Quality Spicy Chicken Egg Rolls with dipping sauce. You get four egg rolls with Chung's famous sweet and sour sauce packets included. Um, the whole package of all four egg rolls is 12 ounces, 340 grams. They are frozen. Um, it says ready in 12 minutes. I don't think it takes that long if you microwave them. Uh, but anyway, we bought these at Meijer. It was $4.99 for the four egg rolls. And let's see. So the four servings of container, one egg roll with the sauce, and there's four individual packets of sauce. It's 170 calories, which isn't bad. There's your other info for you. So they do have the heating directions, keep frozen, remove prior from packaging, heat directly from frozen immediately after, or immediately after thawing uh, under refrigeration. So don't leave it in the counter too long. Um, hot after eating, thawing, whatever. So you can do it in the conventional oven. That is the preferred method, it says. Or you can do it in a pan or deep fried, which is probably pretty good. Or you can do it in the microwave, which is what we're going to do. And it says they're for soft and tender egg rolls through the microwave. So instructions are based on an 1100 watt microwave. Uh, cooking times vary from frozen. You're going to do two minutes on high power, turning over once to reach an internal temperature of 165. Again, get your thermometers out. After they're thawed, you're going to do one minute per side. So basically for me, since they're frozen, I'm going to do one minute, turn them over and do one and then do another minute. And you only microwave one of these at a time. So you don't do two, you do one, or at least that is my experience with these. It doesn't say that. Does it? One egg roll. Uh, yeah, based on one egg roll. So you only do one egg roll at a time. That's what I thought. Let's see, does it have a pull time? It does not. So I do have some warm water over here to put my sauce packets in. If I can get the stupid thing open. All right. Ooh, they're red. Wow. So what I do, when I open the package up, I have a paper plate here and I'll put, um, I'll get another paper plate to put the other one on, but I take one of the egg rolls and I'll put it on a paper plate. And I usually put this side down first and then when I flip it over, that side will be up. And um, I usually have a fork because um, when I've made these before, they really kind of want to fall apart after that first minute. So I just flip them over the fork. And this, you can't, nah, this one might be perforated. It's hard to tell. I can't, I don't think it's perforated. So if you want this separate, which I do, you kind of got to cut them in half with scissors. And then I'm going to drop these in some warm water, actually it's hot water, and let them thaw out while this is in the microwave. So I'm going to do this one for two minutes, one minute, flip it over one minute, and then I'll do the other one the same way while this one's cooling off, and then I'll be back. All right, so here they are out of the microwave. I don't need the fork anymore. That was just a, was just to flip them over in the microwave because once you've, uh, like I said, once you do that first minute, you have to flip them over and they're kind of floppy. Um, so if you don't want them to fall apart, take a fork and go underneath them. This is also a clean plate. The plate I actually microwaved them on got really kind of wet and red. So I wanted to um, change it out to a clean plate. So I'm gonna cut these. It feels a little rubbery, but not too awfully bad. It held its shape really well. You can see all the cabbage. Um, see a lot of pork in there, but there's some, some cabbage in there. I'll just leave it just like that. Let me cut this one and let it cool off a little bit too. This was the one that came out last, so it's a little bit hotter. Yeah, you can see the filling in there. And then these are the sauce packets. That's what they look like. So I just, like I said, have in hot water, took them out and just dried them off so they wouldn't be wet. But yeah, I'm gonna take this over the table and uh, give it a try. Okay, right, so I'm gonna try one. I'm gonna try one without anything first. I'm looking through the, through the ingredients for these. I don't see anything that would make these spicy. Um, it says mouthwatering spicy chicken egg rolls and our famous sweet and sour dipping sauce are great as a tasty addition to any Asian meal. Um, yeah, I don't, I'll have to look again, but I looked and I didn't see anything. So I'm going to take a bite without any sauce. They're spicy. Wow. Ooh, that is hot. Um, yeah, what's funny is I don't see anything <coughs> really hot. Um, I don't see anything that would say what would make it hot. I see onion powder, natural spice. I guess that could be it. Um, sesame. Oh, wait, here we go. Um, red pepper, 
um, sriracha type flavor capsaicin yeah sunflower oil okay so it is a it's like a paprika and red pepper sauce kind of um, kind of flavoring definitely hot I mean, if you don't like hot of course you're not gonna bite by anything spicy but um you'd really hate these because <laughs> they are hot um, I wonder if the sauce makes it eat better. I'll tell you, even though, even though they're hot, you really get a lot of that, uh, the cabbage flavor, and you get a lot of the, um, like the fried flavor uh, from the egg roll itself. The sauce is like a, like a pale sweet and sour sauce. I like the flavors of the egg roll and the sauce. It doesn't help cut the heat any. It's still pretty hot, but it does add a lot of flavor to it. It adds a sweetness to it that's missing from just the egg roll itself. Um, yeah, it's pretty nice. I can kind of see that sriracha kind of pepper flavor in there. I think um, flavor wise, I do like it. Just know that it, it is hot. I mean, it's going to burn like it's an overall burn. It's just not just in one spot. It's kind of in the back of my throat and a little bit on the my tongue and a little bit on the back of my throat or the sides of my throat. Um, not too much towards the front, but mostly in the back of my throat and my tongue. Um, I like the flavor. I like the cabbage flavor. I don't really get the, it was chicken, right? Yeah. Um, I don't really get that chicken flavor. You get some texture of something you're chewing when you're eating the egg roll, but you don't really know it's chicken. It just has a little bit of a texture to it. It's almost all cabbage flavor and the um, the egg roll, the fried egg roll itself. And then you put the sweet and sour so sauce on it and you really taste the sauce almost more than anything. So you get the sweet and sour sauce, then you get a little bit of the cabbage, then you get a little bit of that fried flavor. So that's what you primarily taste. Um, I don't mind the flavors of these. I don't, I don't even mind the heat that much. It is... It's a little spicy for me. I wouldn't want to eat these like all the time, but um, but they're enjoyable to have occasionally. <laughs> I like the comment. Yeah, you know, the microwave is for a softer, tender egg roll. I can't hardly break that. That's how crunchy it is. So definitely not soft and tender. If you wanted it soft and tender, at least for my microwave, I would have had to have taken that out um, way before the full 10 minutes. I would have had to gone like uh, maybe 45 and 45 seconds and flip it over and then 45 seconds. I may have had to have done that to really get them soft because this one's really, really crunchy. Maybe you want it crunchy. I don't know. Um, it's not like it's not like it's hard to eat. It's kind of reminds you of like a a really crunchy fried tortilla, or a um, you know like a, a flour tortilla or corn tortilla. That you really um, like deep fried. That's kind of the, the texture you get. Although it's more flaky than that. It's it's, it's weird. So the center section of that was somewhat tender, but it's the back that's really, really crunchy. So overall, I think these are good. They're too hot for me to really enjoy a lot, but um, but I do enjoy them. I like the flavor. I like a, I like an egg roll with cabbage and stuff in it anyway. They could have left the chicken out completely and I would have been fine with just the cabbage, a vegetable egg roll. Um, and the sauce is really good. They, if they don't sell this in a bottle, they should because it's really good sweet and sour sauce. Um, the heat though is more making my nose run, literally. Um, texture wise, these aren't as successful in the microwave. Um, you probably want to put them in the oven or deep fry them. Oven would be just as good as anything. Um, it just really dried them out and made them really crunchy. Uh, they're flaky crunchy, but they're very, very crunchy, almost to the point of being hard crunchy. And um, if you lower the temperature in your, or the time in your microwave, I think they'd be better. But um, who knows, the first time you try them, you don't know. 
So um, I would, if I would do the next batch, which I probably won't because they're too hot, but if I were to do the next batch, I'd probably do 45 seconds. 45 seconds, it gives me a minute and a half overall, and I think it would be really nice uh, texture-wise then. So flavor-wise is really good. Doesn't quite work for the temperature they give me in the microwave, but like they say, you have to verify it or vary your time. That's fine. Um, I'm going to give these, I'm going to give it a three and a half. I think if you like spicy, you'll really, really enjoy these because they are burned the back of your throat spicy. But um, the sauce is really, really good and the filling is really good. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.